Hi, in this video we are going to see how we can import Vertex animation assets generated from Houdini's SideFX Labs into Popcorn FX and then how we can use it inside Unreal Engine. I have my Popcorn FX project folder, my UE4 project folder and a simple Houdini test scene. Let's open Popcorn FX. You will need a Popcorn FX project uh, with the Houdini library files. The easiest way to have those is to go to online packages and to import Houdini examples into your project. I have already done that step. I open my project and I will create a new empty effect. Let's open Houdini. You will need um, the side effects labs tool. So this is a simple scene with a rigid body simulation. It is very similar to what you can find in side effects labs tool uh, sample assets. I go to the out network and I create a new VAT export node. First we can rename it since uh, its name will be used in assets name. Um, I select the method uh, rigid and the engine preset is popcorn FX. Inside the ethopy path we choose the output of uh, the simulation and we can click initialize for engine. I change the user interface to normal. I will also change my project path. This determinates uh, where my assets will be rendered. So I want those to be rendered inside my popcorn FX directory. Now you could change some parameters like padding or packing. I will stick with default and press render. Now I can go to sample shader code and click that icon to copy a popcorn FX renderer. Let's open the popcorn effect. Um, I create a new layer and connect it to the root event. In my layer, I delete everything and hit Ctrl and V. And this should be sufficient to have something working. So as you can see, um, the Popcorn FX renderer is already set up with the right uh, textures, meshes and parameters. I can choose a diffuse map since um, the rigid body simulation doesn't break the UV and the rubber toy albedo map um, happens to be found in the Popcorn FX Houdini package. Let's save the effect and switch to Unreal Engine. You need a project with the Popcorn FX plugin. I click import and select my effect. Then I click import all and some pop-up will notify me that uh, some assets are used in Vertex animation and um, those need some specific import settings. So I will just hit yes. And this should be working straightforward too. And that's it. The process is almost identical for Fluid and Soft VAT. We have some more samples inside the Houdini package. Beware that while the first part of this tutorial, so from Houdini to Popcorn FX, is pretty universal, um, the second one, relative to the pipeline between Popcorn FX and some engine, um, is highly dependent on the Popcorn FX integration into that engine. 
Thanks for watching. Goodbye.